Why are you here? What do you know of this man, Jesus? Pontius Pilate told me to clear this area that no one is to be around here. I am a centurion. I have command a hundred men in the Roman army. You are looking for Jesus. What do you know of this man, Jesus? Do you want to hear about him? I can tell you. I risk great in my job to tell you, but I will tell you if you want to hear. Come down here and sit down here, and I will tell you what I know of Jesus. It's cold. You're right, it is cold. <laughs> I will tell you I was here on Friday. I am a Roman soldier. I was down in the Praetorium, which is the palace, when Pontius Pilate delivered Jesus to be crucified. We put him in a purple robe and twisted a crown of thorns on his head. And we mocked him and made fun of him and called him the king of the Jews. But he did not fight back. He did not get angry. He looked in. All I saw in his eyes was love. But we had to crucify him, so we made him carry his cross up to here to this place called Golgotha. You know what Golgotha means? It means the skull. And that is where we brought him. And, we, and on the way, he could, got tired and could not carry his cross anymore. So we made a, man, a man named Simon of Cyrene carry the cross for him. And we brought him here, and we crucified him. We nailed him on the cross. Jesus was in the middle and two on each side. And while he was up there, we mocked him still further. We called him King of the Jews. We put a sign up on the cross that said, This is the King of the Jews. And the chief priests and elders who stood nearby, and all the people made fun and mocked him, and said, If he is the king of the Jews, get down from the cross, come down. He said, If he is the son of God, let God save him now. And no one did. And that was for six hours, he got thirsty, and I could have, he, was, he asked for some water, and I gave him some wine on a sponge, but he did not want it. And it was a beautiful day, as it was a bright day, just like today. And we continued to make fun of Jesus and mock him. And all he did is he looked at us and he said, Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. And then, on a beautiful day, as bright and sunshiny as today, at the sixth hour, it turned dark. Dark as night. And I will tell you, I am a soldier in the Roman army. I have done great things. But I was very afraid. I trembled. I trembled in the sight. And as it got darker and darker, the sixth hour, Jesus cried out, Father, Father, what has, why have you forsaken me? And we knew he was calling for Elijah, but Elijah did not come. And then, in the ninth hour, Jesus gave a great cry. He didn't finish. And with that, in the ninth hour, he died and gave up his people. And a great earthquake came, and the earth shook and opened up. And the temple, the curtain in the temple was torn in two from top to bottom. That's when I knew. I looked at my men and I said, Truly, this is done. I did not believe before that, but I believed after that happened. But then a man named Joseph of Arimathea went to Pontius Pilate and asked for the body. And he has taken the body. He took it down, and I think he took it to a tomb, but he is not here. So you have to leave here. I have to go on from here and find him somewhere else. Perhaps you can go look at the tomb. But he is not here anymore, and you must go. I could lose my job for you being here. So please, please, go on to your next stop. I will stay here. I will start this way. Sorry.